for my I'm going to go ahead and introduce the roof alright so to do, that, to do that I'm going to right click I'm going to go to the other floor that's the first floor so what I'm doing is I'm right clicking on the ground floor and I'm coming to the first story now there's no plan on the first story so this is the story that I'm going to be drawing my flat roof on originally I can draw it on my on my first floor if I want but I just choose to draw it on this floor so that it doesn't interfere with what I have on my bottom story so I'm going to now introduce what I call the trace to where I'm just going to have the background of my floor plan showing on the first floor so that I can properly see where the walls are so to do that I'm going to come to this top part I'm going to click on this one that's the trace so this floor sketch appears it's on the ground floor so I'm going to introduce a flat roof at this point I'm going to introduce a flat roof at this point so to do that I'm going to come to the roof tool the roof tool is here I click on it twice so the first one I click on this point I change the thickness of this to be 200 I'm going to come to this first part now this one that you have is the multi-plane roof the first one is a single plane roof and that is your flat roof I'm going to click on the single plane roof I'm going to make the angle let's say 5 degrees let's say 5 degrees that works and then on this part I'm going to make this zero because I'm drawing this on my first story and I want this to start from zero elevation on my first story alternatively let's just say I'm just going to make this a hundred just to give it a little bit more height and then I'm going to override these surfaces I'm going to link them I'm going to select them and I'm going to use the alright let's say I'm going to go with the plastic facade alright so I can now click OK now my roof tool is now activated so the first thing I'm going to do now is to draw the base reference point that's the lowest point of the roof the line where I want to slant the roof from the line to which I'm going to slant the roof up to the 5 degrees so this is the base the, the back of the building is the base so I'm going to come to this point I want to say good once the cursor changes from this icon to a from a plus icon to a good icon I can now draw I click I'm just defining the base of the roof I click on it and then I click on the middle now I take my mouse back to the edge of the building now I select this I'm just picking four points the, the four points that I'm going to just slant my roof from alright so that's what I have so I've done that I'm going to now escape this I'm going to click on this roof I'm going to just offset the edges just a bit so to do that I'm going to click on any edge I come to this tool this first one that I have now activated now is the offset edge but I want to offset all the edges not just one edge so the one by the side to it is called the offset all edges so I click on that one I'm going to offset all the edges with let's say a 400 mm Right, that works. Let's see what we have in 3D. Good. That's just what I want. A small, you know, offsets. So I'm going to cover these spaces with a wall. Uh, when I cover these spaces with the wall, and then I'm just going to introduce another. I'm going to introduce cover these spaces with the wall, and then I'm just going to introduce, you know, a wall here, and then trim it away at the roof level. So let's go back to the first story. Let's go to the ground floor. All right. So I'm going to draw a wall on this point. So to do that, I'm going to come to the wall tool. All right. I'm going to change the, the material of the wall to let's say brick red. Again. Now this is what I'm going to do. This wall that I'm going to draw is going to start from the first floor. I'm going to make this. I'm not going to link this one to another story. I'm just going to draw a free standing wall that is not linked to any other story. So to do that, I'm going to come to this wall top. I'm going to come to not linked. All right. I'm going to come to not linked. And then I'm going to come to this point. And then I'm going to change this one to first story. So what this means is that I am just drawing my wall 
from the first story because this wall is going to be on top of my current story just follow me carefully so you understand what i'm trying to do and then on this part i just need a wall height of say 1500 because i'm going to cut it away i'm going to trim out the excess parts of the roof and then i hit okay now i want to draw a wall a chain wall that is not going to break at different points. i just want to pick the four edges and have it come out the way that i want so to, to draw a chain wall i'm going to come to this top part the geometry method i'm going to click and hold click and hold and then this opens when you click on this first part and hold and then these four icons shows you can now click on this top, this middle part this is the chain geometry you click on this one and then this opens so i can now pick all the edges to get what i want so i click on this point I take it down to this edge you see how it's a chain wall and doesn't break at different intervals I click on this point I click on this point and then I click OK and then it tells you that this is not going to show on this plan it's going to be unseen on the current story and then you click continue so I've drawn my wall but it's not going to be seen on this story because I didn't draw it to fit into this particular story I drew it to fit into the first story so let me go back to my first floor story and then I'm going, to, I'm going to open the 3d tool so this is just what I did I drew a wall on top of this existing wall and then this 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 happens all right so what I'm going to do next is to just cut away this ex this extra walls because I don't need them so to do that I'm going to escape on the 3d is where i'm going to do that operation i need you to follow what i'm trying to do very closely so you don't miss it so i'm going to click on this i'm going to click on this roof click on this roof on your 3d tool i'm going to hold my shift key holding my shift key i'm going to click on this wall all of them remember these walls are linked so when you click on anyone all of them is going to select itself so after I have clicked on the roof holding my shift key and the walls together, I'm going to come to options. Sorry. I'm going to come to or oh, I can just do it on this tab, not having to go to the long processes. I'm going to take my mouse to this top part and I'm looking for trim elements to the roof. Trim elements to the roof. I'm just going to click on this one once. And then it tells you that you should use roofs from the current selection i have already selected it so i'm going to use this current selection then i click on trim and then this happens all right so i've successfully done that i'm going to orbit it so this is what i've been trying to do this is what i've been trying to do all right let's move on let's go back to the first story now i'm going to do a simple operation where i'm going to copy this roof away I'm just I just want to introduce another layer of roofing on top of this current roof. So just follow me closely. I'm going to right click on this roof. I come to move. I'm going to drag a copy of this roof. Just drag it away. And then I'm going to adjust the settings of this particular one and then I'm going to drag it back in and just make a little switch to it. So to do that I'm going to come to the settings, go back to the roof settings. I'm just going to make this a 50 mm something very small. And then I'm on the surfaces. I'm going to change this to a roofing tile, a proper roofing sheet now, because this is just going to be another layer on top of the current layer. Let's say this one. Any of the roofing sheet works. Let's say I'm going to go with this one. Now, remember the base of the roof that we originally drew started from 100. Now, this second layer that I want to draw is going to start from the top of this current roof. So I'm going to change this from 100 to 300 because of the thickness of my original roof was 200. So adding the 200 to the original offset, we are going to have 300. All right. And then I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to drag this one back. Move. Drag a copy. I'm going to drag it to just fit it perfectly. All right. I'm going to do it again. Move drag a copy just fit it perfectly on the edge while it's still selected i'm going to offset the edges just a little bit so it's going to just come out more so to do that i'm going to click on the edge any of the edge the offset edge the last command that i use is still active 
so I'm just going to offset this out with let's say something small let's say 100 and then I click OK I can now delete this I don't need this anymore then let's go back and check what we've done in 3d see what I have done I just added a small layer of roofing sheet on top of the current one just to give it a bit more facade just a small design all right good now let's go ahead and